All right, my friends, Dr. Nicola Ciso back again, and this time I'm sharing with you my favorite recipe. It's my mother's recipe for ginger cookies. If you like ginger, you're gonna love this recipe. And I hope you do love ginger because ginger is extremely valuable for diabetics. It's anti-diabetic, it's anti-inflammatory, helps you with the blood sugar regulation and uptake. So excellent to have in your diet. We start by mincing this ginger. So put it in your food processor. And I have a little ninja here. You just blend that up very quickly. Oops. There we go. Nice and fine, that's good enough. And then you add one cup of walnuts. Nice organic healthy walnuts. These are again full of your essential fats that you need in your diet, but very healthy, good for your brain. That's why they kind of look like a brain. And then from that we add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon also on the high on the list for diabetics always have this in your diet as much as possible helps with blood sugar uptake and regulation then we add coconut nectar this is the, the sweetness that comes out of coconuts it is low glycemic great for diabetics i cut this in half in compared to my mother's usual recipe and then i use a dropper of stevia instead uh, this might take a minute, one second, <laughs> it's a little slower than I thought, but fill up a quarter cup of this coconut nectar. There we go, it's delicious, it's full of nutrients as well, great um, source of, of energy. So, oh, it's a little gooey, but it's delicious, I assure you, it has a lovely flavor. And then we do just a a half teaspoon of vanilla is recommended. What I do instead of that, because a lot of vanilla powders out there have sugar, just cane sugar, I'll get vanilla flavored stevia. So you get that vanilla flavor, but you don't necessarily get that added bit of cane sugar. So then I'll take that full dropper of stevia, not just a drop, a full dropper. And lastly, I do a pinch of Himalayan pink salt. Usually I don't advocate salt, but in this case, just a, a, a quarter, an eighth of a teaspoon, just to, to give, bring out the flavors. And Himalayan pink salt is, is better than the rest because it at least has 84 minerals for you. So, very simple recipe. Blend that up. You want to keep blending it until it's all stirred up. So you might need to uh, mix that up a little bit until it's all together, combined well. Uh, it doesn't have to be fine. It can be chunky, actually. Chunky is more fun and more tasty. But uh, make sure it's all kind of mixed in there together. This should be good. And then what you do, that actually looks great. So it'll be chunky like this. It's really tasty. And what you do then is take these out and you can either make little cookies, so I like to make little cookies because then I have portion control, or uh, you can lay it out flat on a sheet and slice it into little squares. That's the faster way to do this. And then you can either put these in the dehydrator for two hours if you just want them nice and warm and, and cooked up, or five hours if you like them a little crunchy on the outside. The other trick is to lay them out and put them in the freezer for an hour. And then you skip the dehydrating, which if you don't have, that's okay. Put it in the freezer, that will bind them well, and within an hour you have delicious, yummy cookies. And this is how I like to make them. I'll show you. So, very simple. And very easy to make. They're absolutely tasty. They're low glycemic. The dehydrator, if you go that route, is you keep it under 115 degrees and that keeps all those nutrients in check, all those enzymes in check. Nothing gets destroyed and you have a healthy, lovely, low glycemic cookie for your child or for yourself. Enjoy.